Nah, bro. Look at his hand. His hand is on her boot. Her, his hand is on the doodle machine. Do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy. Go by Drew All right, y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today we have something crazy. This dude, I guess he went to the bathroom or something like that at the club, and when he came back, his girl was his his girl was literally just tonguing down this other man, like some random dude at the club. She was just getting tongued down. Like, I don't know, it's freaking weird. It, it, the thumb, I don't I didn't watch the video, obviously, but from the thumbnail, that's what the heck it looked like. And it, 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 that's really bad. That's cheating is one thing, but cheating right in front of the person, that's OD crazy. You know what I'm saying? So we're finna watch this video. If y'all excited, smash the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, hit the post notification bell, and let's just hop right into this, man. Relationships gone wrong. What is going on, guys? Shot clips here once again, and this is gonna show some wild clips of the worst relationships I can find. Now, like my favorite clip will be at the end. So make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But this first one, guys, it is definitely not good either. Basically, I guess this guy and this girl were talking, and this girl decided to shoot a shot at him until he rejected her. And after the rejection, let me just say these girls did not handle it well and even started name calling him instead of i guess acknowledging how they look and what they are they decided to just blame him for being an absolute idiot i guess that makes sense right I find you a bitch. Take you in. Oh, yeah. potentially down for the kill you make out with the virgin right now right now i definitely would if he's down yeah i can't man i was talking to somebody over there they're not looking, buddy. They're not looking. huh they're not looking. no i can't that i sorry Sorry, I can't. I was talking to somebody over there. Sorry. No, you can't. Sorry, bro. What advice would you give to our virgin? Be friendlier and more outgoing. Seems like an asshole. Oh. <laughs> How does he seem like an a-hole when he just rejected you little Tatiana's? That doesn't make sense. If a girl rejects a guy, what what She's not being a whatever. You know what I'm saying? He's just, he said that he was with somebody. Why would you want to kiss somebody that's with somebody? You want to be a home wrecker? Like, come on, bro. Make it make sense. Don't get your feelings hurt because you realize you were two out of 10 and not everybody wants you like you think they do. You're a three out of 10 max. But honestly, realistically, no one wants you. He's an asshole, eh? Weird vibes. Let's not talk about you. I wasn't even gonna go in on you, girl, lady, woman. <laughs> Never mind. I ain't gonna do it to this. I ain't gonna do it, bro. I gotta be nice. At all. He's like, I'll give you a hug, and I'm like, sir. That's not why he's here. Yeah. 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 Bro, come on with the ads, bro. We're not doing this crap. We're not doing this crap, bro. He's like, I have a girl over there. I'm like, keep okay, bye. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he flexed on you, eh? And this next one we have this OnlyFans girl, I guess begged this guy for money, and this is how she offered herself. He had the best comeback ever. Check out this clip. Can you send me money? What'd you say? Can you send me money? Pop it. I'll send you pictures of my boobs. Those are already on the internet, everyone. <laughs> I'll send you non on the internet pictures. I already have Reddit for that. No, but like they're they're never before seen. Oh, but Reddit has it. So are you poor or what? Can you send me money? <laughs> And this next one we have is <laughs> That is true Once you become an OnlyFans girl <laughs> There's no like the, There's no Wanting to see you Cause it, everybody's seen you And I could just go see you For three dollars Like come on bro this girl, I guess she ended up breaking up with her boyfriend yesterday just to find herself with a new guy, which ended up being her guy best friend. I keep telling y'all, guy best friends are always there and they always exist, and a girl shouldn't even have one because it could always end up like this. Single as of yesterday. But you had a man before yesterday. For two years. I'm not gonna lie, I got an appointment coming. With who? My best friend. You were friends with this guy while you were dating your, your boyfriend? I've been friends with him before I knew my ex, I guess now. I'm so disappointed in you though. Why? You're going to go your best friend a day after breaking up with your boyfriend that means you wanted to f your best friend while you were dating your boyfriend that's bad and that's how it be a lot of times you, you dudes out there gotta watch out when y'all girls say she got a boy best friend and you ladies out there you need to watch out when your your man say he has a girl best friend i'm gonna just throw that out there do with that as you want 
complicated like and this next one, I guess, is going to decide a shooter shot with this guy by using one of the craziest pickup lines ever. And to be honest, I guess it worked out really well. This guy just knew how to vibe with her, and I guess he really digged it for sure. You are as hot as a hot Cheeto because I want to chew you up and and chase you down with milk a hundred and six and four times because that's how many hot Cheetos are in an eight and a half bag. Okay. I don't know what the f I'm, I'm confused. I just wanted your number. Oh. That's how hot you are. Thank you, that, I'm sorry, you just really confused me. Look, did she say, I, you're as hot as a 64 pack of Cheetos and I want to slurp you down with some milk and some Cheeto because that's how many Cheeto puffs is in a bag of Cheeto Doritos? What did she just say? On that one, I did not expect the, the hot Cheetos part. So All I can't right. get your number? No, you can, you can. You gonna feed me? For sure, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, you better, Daddy. And this next one, I highly encourage everyone to stay away from a woman like this. The most mani manipulative thing you've done. The most manipulating thing I've done is use the guy for In what money. Way? For money. How much money did you, did you take? A lot. I don't even know. Just so much money. You can't manipulate a manipulator. In this next one, I believe what? this why couple you, should immediately break up because they just exposed themselves for a stupid interview. You guys are in a relationship, right? Yes. So I got a question for you. Sure. Okay, so would you rather cheat on your girlfriend or snitch on your homies? Y'all could never snitch on the homies. So you're gonna I'm cheat sorry, on your girl? I, I never snitch on the homies. I mean, I cheated a bunch of times. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and this sex was absolutely pathetic. Wait a minute. Let's dissect this real quick. So. I'm you see this the way he said what the f he was serious and he's smart he made a comeback he said he he switched in his in his brain you go see a light bulb went off and said oh she just hurt me now i gotta hurt her back and pretend like it didn't hurt me that she cheated multiple times light bulb went off say you cheated too and laugh <laughs> me too <laughs> and this next one's up he's crying right now actually Absolutely pathetic. Basically, there is a guy. He ended up questioning this woman about his thoughts of this celebrity. Then the celebrity ended up pulling up and actually taking this guy's girl right in front of him. I don't know why he didn't open his mouth. Maybe that wasn't his girl. Maybe just a you know a crush he had. But this is still really pathetic that he didn't say a single thing. So basically, I want to know. I'm getting everyone's opinion on Ed Matthews sticky talking. Oh. <laughs> 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 Being is an idiot. Yeah. If you saw him in real life, would it be like a drop game thing? No, no, no. Or? <laughs> a few moments later. I'm actually a good guy, babe. Give me your number. I'll well, take my number and find out, babe. Alright. <laughs> In this next one, I want you guys to let me know what you guys would do. If I don't know what just happened there. You guys saw this happening. Hi. Hi. Just wanted to give you a call before you went to bed. Oh, yeah, I'm really tired. Nicole, I'm really missing you. I miss you too. In this last clip, we have this guy who was actually offered if he could forget everything about his ex. He said yes, of course he would. And to be honest, I'm not sure why anybody would say no. It makes the most logical sense. Like, why? Why do we break up? Is that for me to answer? Or for yeah. you? I, if I okay. asked you the question, then yeah. Stop. If you could erase every memory of me, would you? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. I definitely would do that. Would you really? Within a heartbeat. And this next one, I guess, this girl really helped. You have no reason to keep that memory. Like, why would you want to keep the memory? Like, what, 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 what would it do? You know what I'm saying? Like, realistically, what would y'all do? Would y'all erase it? It don't make no sense, personally. The short guy, and she was really digging him to the point where it shows that some people still have hope. Uh, smash or pass? Smash. You a smash? Yes. Why? Is you the perfect guy? We the same height, laying down. I knew it. My young, my short kings out there, I'm not short, I'm six, seven and a half. But for all you short people, you know what I'm saying, there is hope for you. Because she is right, you the same height laying down. And you also is at a nice, if she's really tall and you really short, you had a nice height every time you hug her, titties in your face. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Well, can I get your number and we can kick it back later? Yeah. And this actually goes to ask the question this guy about splitting the bill. And he says the most logical thing ever. And I 100% agree with him. If you can't afford an extra $10 for a woman, just don't be in a relationship, to be honest. A deal breaker if you're on a first date with a girl, but she doesn't offer to split the bill with you at the end? It's not a deal breaker. It's kind of what's expected. Expected, like, for you to pay? Oh. Yeah. 
What do you mean, unfortunately? It's kind of the uh, standard that society set. So you wish it was different. You wish it was more like 50-50. I don't really care. And this next one, this girl really just shows that some people don't care about how loyal they are. And just they just want their money. Yes, they 100% exist. I'm not sure why people are surprised they do exist. I need the lifestyle. I could be loyal. You just give me, just give me all of that. So you in it for the money? All the way. Now I'd like to come after. You got a better chance get somebody that's loyal and building that lifestyle. Building a life. They actually get on after the lifestyle and then that person being loyal. You still put my point. People have a funny difference. Because you still will have the lifestyle even though you come up with the lifestyle. But you're saying that she just, she could go, certified gold digger. She does not care at all. You can have both if you go for lifestyle first. I'm saying if you, you still go for have... lifestyle first. Listen, I don't want loyalty. no loyalty and broke. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. I don't need that. So you, so, so you, so you got, you got lifestyle, and, lifestyle and, and, and yeah, whatever. You, yeah, do whatever you want. Right, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, you understand? Saying... And this next one has got us to ask these women if they can, what do they need to do to improve themselves? And to be honest, every single one said the exact same answer. What kind of mindset is this? Guys will even look at themselves like that. You can approach a bunch of guys that all say a different answer, but these girls, for some odd reason, are just copy and paste. Two seconds, you realize why a lot of women are single. So when you look at yourself. What would you say you need to improve when you're dealing with the opposite gender? Nothing. But, sure, but, I don't think there's any flaws. I don't really have any flaws. Nothing flow. to improve. Do well, I need to improve? Yes. Probably his timing. What? Well, your timing or his timing? His timing. What the no, fuck? No, it's about you though. Oh, you you what need, to, I need to Yeah, what do you need to improve? I don't know. You see how she jumped straight to you? <laughs> and this next actually reviewed the original video of this guy walking off on his date because she brought her friend and they ended up ordering a lot of expensive things. And everybody in the comments are ripping him. Calling I don't get that whole thing. If we going out on a date, why are you inviting your friend? And then like, you want me to pay? I don't know this little girl. Like, I don't know. She's not my friend. Why is she here in the first place? Get your own mans. You know what I'm saying? him broke there's a complete difference i'm taking a girl just on a date and being taken advantage of just know that they showed up with her best friend they ordered the most expensive food and drinks i said i had to use the bathroom i hope daddy's credit card works people are mad at me for leaving a date who brought her best friend oh this is her this is him and he with a black girl oh my brother <laughs> to dinner Essentially, I had a date plan with one of the girls, and when I arrived, she said her friend was joining us. And when we sat down, they started ordering drinks and appetizers and complimented me the whole time. At this point, I knew this was a scam. She was trying to have a little threesome. A little threesome. You know what I'm saying? He, he understood the assignment. Leave. You don't need that type of energy around you. And you definitely don't need to be paying for that type of energy. I'll tell you that much. Um, and I left. And people are saying that I didn't have a right to leave because those women probably earn triple my wage and I can't face the embarrassment of not being able to afford cheap drinks. And that poor dudes shouldn't date, just stay at home. I don't know, what do you guys think? In this next one, this just goes to show that a doctor can pull anyone and I guess gentlemen watch your back. Basically this guy approaches girls and he somehow gets all of them even when they're in relationships. This girl is absolutely cheating, I hope her boyfriend sees this. Yeah. Sure. Your heart is calling out to me. It's crazy. How do you not hear that? That's pretty good. Have a boyfriend. That was pretty good. Pretty, but who go dress up as a freaking doctor to get a, get a girl? You sound stupid. But that was a good line. How long have you been dating him? A year and a half. Is he a nurse? No. Exactly. You need a nurse, girl. What if you get shot one day? You need immediate medical attention. How about I just get your number? Is that cool? Sure. There's no harm in that. Sure. Then I know how to find you. So I can get All right. What's your number? Before I know. And if I remember the worst clip on the list, there's. If you give your number out and you're in a relationship, you're, che you're a cheater, certified cheater, dirtbag, scumbag, the worst of the bottom of the bottomist, grimy, disgusting, everybody hates you. This girl at this party, and I guess she ended up hooking up with this guy at the party right in front of her boyfriend. He literally went to the bathroom and came back and just ended up seeing this. I feel so bad for him. Nah, bro. Look at his hand. His hand is on her boot. Her, his hand is on the doodle machine. Bro. She's not paying him any mind. She's literally not paying this man any mind. Well, that's she's lit she literally was just ignoring him he's I, as a man personally i would never take that disrespect personally personally i would never take that disrespect hand is on her doodle machine 
He all in her ear. She trying to do other things. And you back here being a loser. Leave. Or shoot the club up. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, that's wild disrespectful. Well, that's wild disrespectful. What would y'all do if that happened to y'all? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, man. That's the end of the video, bro. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. What would y'all do if y'all came back and found y'all significant other just cheating right in front of you? And then just ignoring you? Like, that's why you gotta leave and come back with the Draco. And you know what I'm saying? Everybody. Everybody has to die because of the one person or two people. Whatever the heck it is. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. And if you really enjoyed the video, you'll really enjoy this next video that I'm about to show you. This person got caught cheating in the board. The guy decided to call the side piece. And let's just, let's just say the conversation went crazy. So I highly suggest y'all watch this video right here if you like quality entertainment. Because this guy was stupid and he ended up getting pretty disrespected on the phone. I'm not going to lie to you. But that just watch the video. You go see. But that's everybody. I'm going to see y'all out.